afternoon all. Now this afternoon I thought I'd have a little play with um, some retro electronics which I'm building which is this device full of 555s and uh, 74 LS double zeros and an old 625 line green screen monitor and uh, all these potentiometers and switches are mounted on this panel which the guys at work made me which has room for 30 pots and 30 switches. Now on the piece of wood behind the panel I've mounted four of these quite long breadboards so I've got lots of space for building more digital and analog circuitry. So what does this thing do? Well this is a synthesizer but it's not an audio synthesizer it's a video synthesizer so the idea is that it can generate sort of simple video elements so for example this one which I haven't put a switch on yet generates that green line on the screen and if I turn the pot the green line moves up and down now there's a little preset on the board actually I don't think there is on that one but on these two I've put two little presets so I can offset the position of the green lines um, so that when the line is vertical the green line is where I want it on the screen so let me switch a few more of these on I'll switch this one on and that produces a green line at the top of the screen which I can also change the position of and then these two produce vertical lines and again I can move these vertical lines wherever I want now you might possibly by now be getting an idea of what this is. You certainly will if I switch on another element. Now this element is on the breadboard so I have to switch this on using a wire attach it to that diode. Got it now? It's Pong! Or at least it's Tele Tennis which is what uh, we called it here in the UK and this is uh, a circuit from Practical Wireless July 1974 and I've always wanted to build this thing I just had a total fascination with it and uh, a friend that I had around this time built this and I was so jealous of it that uh, even 40 years later I'm determined to build my own so this is the video output which goes uh, to the green screen and uh, this section of circuitry here is the video mixer which mixes the two sync pulses, these are the two uh, master sync generators, line and field sync mixes them um, with the video and all the video is coming in on all, all these various blue wires and creates the final composite video output. Now this is all black and white there's no colour so it's not PAL it's just a 625 line monochrome and then these modules which I've put on Veriboard are basic line generators. The 555 creates an initial delay which uh, for say the top line is this gap here and then the 74LS00 creates a little tiny short pulse so that is the actual width of the line where the video goes high and then goes low again. So the ball which is this section here um, and I can adjust both the horizontal position of the ball and I can also adjust the vertical position of the ball. Um, it's just two line generators, a vertical and a horizontal line generator and then they're anded together. So this is the AND gate here, the two yellows coming into an AND gate and the blue going out. It's then inverted to go to the final video. But um, if you AND together a horizontal and a vertical line then all you see is the point at which they cross each other. Now the original article was by MJ Hughes but then it was followed up by a series of enhancements and add-ons. So one of those was the sound effects unit also by MJ Hughes which would produce the sort of beep boop type uh, short tones to uh, do all the sort of bouncing noises. But then the enhancement that really appeals to me is the on-screen scoring which was uh, done by EA Parr. And this is a quite complicated circuit with lots of ripple counters and uh, multiplexers 
And this is a 7448, which is a seven segment decoder chip, normally used for lighting LEDs, but um, they've used it here for generating the character set or the numbers that you get on the screen. Now also there's an enormously complex uh, timing diagram to generate all the pulses for the on-screen scoring. Now I've made a start um, on the scoreboard system with this and it's um, an alternative to this mass of time pulse generators. I've decided it would be better to do it digitally. So if I plug this wire in to show that on the screen we get this set of three lines and those three lines are coming from three outputs of this uh, LS138 decoder and they're wire ored through these three diodes to produce these three lines. Now that gives you very neat lines um, of exactly four TV lines each and then there's a gap of um, I think what would it be 12 TV lines four on 12 off four on again so this is going to be the top bar, the middle bar, and the bottom bar of the seven segment uh, characters. Now there's also a whole block of circuitry over here, which I think was meant to be the vertical lines for these uh, characters. But if I switch this on, it just sends the uh, monitor into a complete apoplexy of nonsense. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I don't think I uh, perfected that part of the circuitry. So I'm going to have to have another look at that. Now I was blogging this um, at timerich.co.uk but it all got into a bit of a mess because I sort of changed my mind about what this website was for and started looking at pick and place machines. Um, but the original blog entries are all there including all the components that I bought, the basic primitive uh, elements. It's uh, a bit of a mishmash. Now it seems that the last blog entry is March the 15th 2013 so I haven't done anything on this project for over a year and although I'm not going to um, sort of spend too much time on this I would like to get back into it and just uh, add a few little modules to the panel as and when I get time. I mean I do have 30 uh, pot and switch locations to fill. So there it is there's my uh, Retro electronics, tele tennis, pong, video synthesizer, thingamajig. Um, if you're interested in how it works, I could do some more videos on uh, in a bit more detail.